to talk about Ba. This one, or rather, the impossibility of opening a recital with any piece of ba. So I'm practicing for the recital that I'm going to give at the university, hopefully uh, in February. And I wanted to do a journey through time theme, which is why I start with ba. So here's the problem. I have terrible stage fright. We all know that. I get very nervous. When I get nervous, my hands get cold. You have to be very, very clear, very specific with playing any ba music. One of the big debates, of course, is how much of the capabilities of this gorgeous instrument you should use when you're playing a Baroque piece, because back in the day, of course, they didn't have the modern piano. Bach either had a harpsichord or a clavichord, which is why when you're using too much pedal, for instance, when you're performing a Baroque piece, uh, that doesn't quite work. I'm a traditionalist, haha, <laughs> surprise, when it comes to things like that, so I try to stay as close to what Bach uh, imagined. Bach is incredibly difficult to play. So I'll give you some examples. Freeze frame! Ooh, that was cool. If you watch my left hand fifth finger, so the pinky, you'll see that I'm holding it down, the note G, while doing lots of other things with the remaining fingers. Let's watch it again in real time. Okay, now we come to the jumps. Literally. You need to jump from one key to another without missing the intended key, so basically it's good target practice. Since these pass in a split second, let's slow it down a bit. do other things, then the fifth finger jumps to the A next to that G while others do other things, then the first finger holds the B flat while others do other things, and finally the fifth finger jumps to C sharp while others do other things. So this whole video that I did, it's only for these two lines over here, which is just ridiculous, but that's the way it is. So the moral of the story, start your recital with Ba, start your day with Ba. Ba rocks! He's the one! Okay, bye!